I Love, I Believe, Part 2. Jesus, he hid his true colors all this time. All polite, courteous, but in fact, he had been a rapist and a murderer. So how do we believe people after this? We, in fact, are bystanders, and it's not difficult to mess with our minds. But do you think Anna didn't know anything? I had wanted to talk to her amicably, but she scowled and sent me to hell. Now, can you believe that? Well, of course. They are indeed of the same breed. Do you live in this building? Yes, yeah, so... Did Belia have <gasps> go in the house? Did he really escape? So what about you? How do you know he committed the crime? Ha! <laughs> the whole city <sighs> knows that Kiro Belia have turned out to be a maniac. We didn't ask about <laughs> Kiro, but his son, Nikita. Nikita? Nikita? We didn't see Nikita. And what did he do? He killed the man. Come on. And so Nikita's a killer, too. <clears throat> what a family. <clears throat> there are pies with cabbage. Try them. They're very tasty. And this one has spinach. Here you go. Thank you very much, Anton. But I can't now. I think about Kirill all the time, how he's doing. Well, Kirill's a real man. He'll manage. Main thing now is you and the children. Without Kirill, nothing's working out. Especially now, when everyone's turned their backs on us. Jesus, who's that, I wonder? I'll get it. Mrs. Belyev, where's your son? <laughs> uh, no, girl, it's not right. Maybe a talk? I understand everything. You just wanted to get revenge on your fiance. Natalia, you understand I'm a living person and not a weapon of revenge. Maybe you shouldn't turn away from me so cruelly. Well, all right, fine, let's talk. About what? Well, I don't know. At least about maybe our future. <laughs> And what future do we have exactly? There is no future, believe me. <sighs> yeah, this talk's going badly. Maybe a drink? I think a drink sounds good. Maybe a few of them. <clears throat> So you assure me that you have no idea where your son might be hiding? That's right. And I don't believe you at all. Nikita couldn't have done this. He really couldn't. He and Roma are friends. <sighs> After all, you didn't know much about your husband, now did you, Anna? Ah. Hmm? I understand now. Settle down. Don't now I understand down. everything. You simply arranged a provocation on purpose. Relax, easy to does put it. To pressure on Kirill, right? What are you doing? Stop it already. When is this terrible lawlessness over with? You are killing me. Anna, just calm down. So Anna, that they are not you don't the people we need to talk to. Investigation. That's wrong. Listen, do you actually have a warrant? Sir, do not raise your voice. Should I remind you who you are? You're a maniac helper. We need to work him over more. Maybe he helped do more than bake bread. What did you no, say? No, Anton, stop. They'll take you into. Watch it. Start thinking more rationally. Start now, Anna. If you learn something uh. about your son, let us know immediately. Otherwise, we're going to take you in on suspicion alone. I'll go close the door behind them. <laughs> Anna. Stop it now, please calm down. Look, it's not time yet, come on. Everything will be fine, do you hear me? Oh wait, but where's Natalia? Where is Natalia? Uh, uh, 
Take it easy. Finally, what took you so long? Yeah? Do you think it's easy to leave my house this time of night? No, so tell me, how was everything there? Here, eat, madman. Come on, tell me already. The ambulance arrived. And the police. They asked us some questions. I said that Riz and I went for coffee and didn't see anything. What about Roma? <sighs> mm, Nikita, you see, that's the thing right there. Roma said that you hit him on purpose. But he was in bad shape, man, and he lost a lot of blood. In short, now everyone's looking for you, and I think your only option is to give up. Mm-hmm. Then they'll put me away like my dad. Then I can't prove anything. Don't be a fool! Roma treated you well. Yes, he blurted something out, but was it a reason to go nuts? I don't think so. Mm, maybe you're right. There wasn't a reason. But it happened. Stroka, tell him that I'm sorry. I feel awful. Of course I'll tell him. <gasps> Stop! <laughs> Face the wall, hands on your head. You did turn me in, Stroka. It wasn't me, I didn't turn you in. Belyev, get away from the girl. Hands on your head. Nikita, it wasn't me. Heads up. Faster. <gasps> Nikita, it wasn't me. Let's Tell him go. it wasn't me, for God's sake. Come on. <sighs> Nikita, it wasn't me. Come on, let's go. Come here, please. Nikita, it wasn't me! And what are you looking at me for? Anyway, where's my lawyer? Why do you need a lawyer? It's not an interrogation. I wanted to talk to you privately, not on the record. It's how I do things. I'm unorthodox. It's hard under lock and key, right? Of course, you have no idea. Well, what do you want? It wasn't necessary to kill a neighbor. You can thank yourself for that and not blame me. You understand? Well, your cellmate wouldn't restrain himself, and such is the attitude of the city towards you. Well, I'll get over it somehow. Well, maybe you will get over it. It's sad that this attitude seems to run in your family. It could get you into a lot of trouble. Actually, the trouble's already occurred. What about my family? Your son, Nikita, couldn't stand the ridicule of a friend, and he brutally attacked the boy. What do you mean? Well, that's it, Kirill. Nikita's been detained, and he faces jail time. You're lying to me. How could I have possibly fabricated any of this? It's easier for you to think like that than to admit your own blame. My own blame? Who else is that? The guy who defended you? Now you have to answer to me. However, all this can still be changed. Be changed? Tell me honestly, I murdered and raped, and my family can't help me out of it. Maybe the people of this city will calm down, and if not, we'll have to move your family to another city, and Nikita too. I guarantee you that we will give him a suspended sentence. So now you're proposing a bargain. To me, is that right? Frankly, you should confess and end this thing. Do you think I'm some kind of an idiot or what? No one takes you for an idiot, believe me. On the contrary, I sympathize with Anna. I heard she was recently fired from her job. What do you mean, fired? What it means, in short. I offered you a way out. Kirill, take it. Don't be that idiot. I need to see my wife. I beg of you. I don't understand why I can't see my son. He's a minor. They Will don't you have calm the right. Down already? Well, then why don't you do something already, please? Anna, unfortunately, they have the right to prevent you that. Your son committed a serious crime. We do not know the severity of the injury to his friend. And this is a task requiring medical expertise. But believe me, if they conclude grievous bodily injury, our situation will be even worse. And when will we this know way. about it? Possibly tomorrow. And I should sit idle, waiting for tomorrow? No, we should not wait. 
My thinking is we should not bring this case to court. Therefore, it is necessary to somehow amicably resolve this with the victim. Well, then go and negotiate with No, them. dear, I am a bystander, but you are a mother. Look, I'm not refusing, but trust my experience, you will do it better. So I ask you. Well, I'll do my best. Uh, I'm sorry. Yes, hello, it's me. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Well, you see there, Anna? Look at that now. You were allowed to visit. But not with your son, with your husband. And the time set for tomorrow morning. Hmm? So, there is an option. Let's go all in and we rush off to Egypt. Egypt might be a good thing, I think. So, agree. I have money. Do you have a passport? Well, tell me you have a passport. I have one. But I won't call. Well, that's your loss. Think about everything that awaits you here. People will go after you while your dad's in prison. See, I have a mother and a brother, and I will not leave them. <sighs> Zika, let's forget everything, yeah? <laughs> For me, please. No, I've got a good memory. Oh. Listen, Natalia, stay with me till morning. If you want, I'll shut up, we'll go to bed and sleep. But I have to go home, though. My mother's waiting for me. <laughs> okay, I'll take you home now. You shouldn't take me home, Zika. I'll go myself. Thank you. <laughs> Excuse me. Where are you going? I came to visit Roma, is that okay? Oh, I'm his mom, and you are? Nice to meet you. I'm Nikita Belyaev's mother. Uh, please let me talk to your son. It's really important that I do. Well, first of all, Roma's asleep. He's on a drip. And secondly, I don't really think he should be talking to you. I'm very sorry. What's your name? It doesn't matter. Do you think I don't know why you came here? You want my son not to blame yours. And you're trying in vain. We are very determined. Your son is a criminal. And frankly, it's not surprising, as they say, like father, like son. What does that have to do with this? Listen to me, I'm begging you. Our boys are friends, good friends. This, of course, was just terrible what happened. But boys, they, they often end up fighting. You have to understand me. Please, I'm not justifying what my son did, but prison. Prison will be far too much. Your mother. Your mother, so please. Let's somehow, somehow, humanely solve this issue. There must be a way, please. I'm done listening to you. Roma lost a lot of blood, and if the doctors came a little later, just get away from here. I beg of you, please understand my feelings, please. Uh, I'm ready to pay for any treatment. I'm ready to do anything. Just Security! Forgive, just please forgive Nikita, please. Security! Huh? You see, it's my fault. It's my fault. I had this misfortune with my Excuse husband, me, and I completely abandoned my children, and so Nikita okay, she was rushed in the ward device. to see my son. Please, I told I her she couldn't. Okay, please. come with me. Please, I beg of you, it's my come fault. Come with me. Come on now. Look, I'm begging come you. Come on, let's You're go, also man. A mother. Please, please, it's man. my fault. Please hey. don't blame him. It's my fault. Please. And most of all in the world, I'm afraid that I will be buried alive, still breathing and wake up in the coffin. Just horrible. That's probably why cremation's better. You know, as a good option. What do you guys think? I think I believe Sveta. But it's too early for us to be thinking about this kind of thing. I understand that it's early. But I can't get rid of these thoughts. It's a phobia. I can't let go. I can't. No, I'm not. <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> <clears throat> 
Good evening, guys. Hello there. Why don't you guys say hello to me? You always greeted me, and now you don't even say hello? <laughs> don't want to talk to the daughter of a maniac, huh? <sighs> and who built you this bench, then? Painted it, installed it. Was it my dad? Tell me, then, how do you sit on the bench of a maniac? Get out of here, you damn slut. Mama. Hey there. Natalia. Why don't you answer your phone once in a while? I didn't hear the phone, sorry. Have you been drinking, sweetheart? I sure have, and you should. With Arthur, huh? I ask that you never say his name aloud. You'd be doing me a gigantic favor. <sighs> Did you guys get in a fight? No, we didn't fight at all. He just dumped me. But I understand why. Why would he want the daughter of a maniac? What are you talking about? I can't stand it anymore. Every person, everyone tells me that my father is a maniac. Do you understand? And maybe they're right, huh? Maybe I am the daughter of a maniac, huh? <laughs> oh. <gasps> Mother. <gasps> Did you actually hit me, Mom? Oh, Natalia. <laughs> I'm sorry, my dear. Forgive me, please, Natalia. Oh, forgive me. My daughter, I'm so sorry, please. Mom, no, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, Natalia, they've taken Nikita away from us, too. <laughs> What are you saying? I, uh, I have a meeting with your father tomorrow. I don't even know what to say to him. <laughs> Mother, don't cry. <laughs> Don't talk about the progress of the investigation. Speak only of personal matters with your wife. If you say something wrong to her, you have yourself to blame. Are we absolutely clear, Belyaev? Crystal clear, sir. You have 10 minutes. Oh, my God. Where did you get that from? It's OK, dear. Anna, please tell me. Listen, I know what happened with Nikita. You know everything, don't you? Nikita, he was in a fight. Please don't pull any punches. It's very important. I need the truth from you and not from the investigator. Kirill, Nikita has been detained. But don't worry about that. We'll get him out soon. Who are we? The investigator said that everyone's turned their backs on our family. Not entirely. Some have turned away, yes. But not everyone. How's Natalia? Everything's OK. Don't lie to me. I see something's wrong. What happened? Arthur left her, right? <sighs> oh, what a scoundrel. The investigator told me that you were fired from your job. Is that true? Anna. Anna, look. Carol, it's all gone bad. I just don't have the heart to tell you. Darling, listen to me. We must wait a little, very little. The investigator explained it to me. If I confess, they'll release Nikita, and you'll be moved to another city. Carol, have you gone crazy? No, you can't do that. Anna, Don't you dare condemn yourself. Listen to me. I, I thought it over. I really have, dear. See, I'll take the blame first for myself. Then in court, Kirill, I'll just say that I was... that's the only thing they need. I now understand why they allowed us this visit. I get it. They just want us to put pressure on you. Kirill, I am begging you, please, don't do this. I can't stand it. I promise I can't handle it. Kirill, I'm begging you, please don't. Just don't confess to what you didn't do. You're innocent, Kirill, please. 
All right, then. Oh, look who we have here. You know I brought you oranges, but your mother took them. She said you couldn't chew, but she'll make you some juice from them. Well, yeah, my jaw's a painful mess, and my head is killing me. You know, all thanks to that boyfriend of yours. And how will I thank him? Nikita's in prison now. Didn't you know about that? Uh, I didn't. I thought he would be released. He's a minor. Roma, he's been branded the son of a maniac. He'll be held and then convicted. That's if you, of course... I would. Well, if you don't retract your statement. That's understandable from you. So you just came for that, that's it? No, no, of course not. Stop. What are you talking about? Although, yes, for that as well. Well, I mean for that too, yeah. But you understand, Nikita's our friend though. He was so upset over his father. I didn't say anything about his father, but he attacked me anyway, Strelka. Roma, listen. See, see, imagine how bad it is for him. How hard it is for him. He's not suitable for prison. Please, just retract your statement. I'm begging you. I will do anything for you. Look. I guess I should have expected this. Come on, man. It's not what you think, so stop being so silly. Mm-hmm. So how's dad doing? He looks worn down. And his head's been bruised. Do they hit him? <laughs> Problem kids, huh? They give us no peace. A blight on mankind. Who are they? Rascals, junkies, who knows? What can you tell me? Ah, you know nothing. It's the third call we've had this week. Something in the water here, I'd say. Who do you look for? Where do you look? What's the use? So you won't look for them then? Well, we'll come to my office tomorrow sometime. Give us a statement. But I'll tell you right now, the probability of finding them is not very high. Gone with the wind. Nikita, my son. Oh, my dear boy! Lord, have they let you go free? <sighs> Nikita. Oh, Nikita! You see, they let me go. I'm free. <sighs> thank the Lord they let you go. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Nikita! <laughs> Why are you crying? It's for joy. <laughs> oh, everything will be fine. Everything oh. will be just fine, my dear. Everything will be fine. <sighs> Step on in, Belyev. This is your new home. <sighs> why a common area? You incorrectly spoke to your wife, that's why. Hey guys, accept the newcomer. This is Belyev, the maniac and killer. So don't leave any evidence. <laughs> Damn, this guy's a big guy. Why are you standing, maniac? There, a bunk over there. Yours to take. Don't be so nervous. No one will touch you. We keep our hands clean, maniac. No, Anna, it wasn't the boys. Hold on. The boys wouldn't have the strength. That's what I thought myself. You need to leave this place. My sister lives in the village. Or come to my house. No, thanks. We're not going anywhere. We can't leave while Kirill rots in prison. What can you do from here? I honestly couldn't tell you. But we're getting him out of there. Mom, what? You want to break him out of there? Don't be silly. I want to find the real maniac. And then your father will be released. That only happens in the movies. But why not? After all, no one's really looking for that maniac. And that's it right there. What should we do? 
I think we need to find out everything on those three victims of the maniac. Maybe we'll find some detail the investigators missed. Well, now, shall we vote? The location of the first murder was near the fur factory. What was the name of the victim? Uh, Ala Laver, 37 years old. The location of the second murder was Svetokny Boulevard. Uh, the victim was Julia Tarasov, 29 years old. The third murder happened here in the park. Olia, and she was 24 years old. If we connect all the points with lines, we'll get a triangle. Is that so? Dad's bakery is right here, you see that? That's almost in the very center of this triangle. It means that there- It means there that he could have easily reached any one of these locations. The investigator also thinks so. And I reason like an investigator. <laughs> I think I found something interesting. It turns out that all of the victims of the maniac were something that was red. Lava wore a windbreaker, Tarasov had these red shoes on, and Olya was in a red dress. Looks like the maniac has some kind of obsession with the color red. Oh. I remembered that Mom bought a red sweater and gave it to Dad. And he said that he hated the color red, and that's why he never wore it, not even once. She told me that. Nikita, look, that could mean something. Yes, I remember that sweater perfectly. I gave it to him, but he never even wore it once. Mom, does Dad dislike the color red for some reason? Well, why all of a sudden would he not like red? Oh, I see. You have doubts about your dad? No, it's not that we have doubts. We just needed to share this with you, though. Actually, the idea is interesting. The thing is, nobody paid attention to that. So what was it now? Red windbreaker? And a red dress? And the red shoes as well. No, oh, you're my girl. Well, that's enough. You've had enough. Today, we've had a really long walk and we're gonna... Are you crazy or what? I'm sorry, forgive me. Hello there. I'm Belyaev's wife. What do you want from me, huh? I'll call the police right now. No, 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 you shouldn't. I just wanted to ask you something. Oh, what a good dog No, no, don't touch my dog. Hands off. <gasps> oh, my Polly. <laughs> that is something. <sighs> she never allows a stranger to pet her. So what is it you want from me? I wanted to ask you, are you absolutely sure that that night it was my husband you saw? Understand. It is very important for me to know. We have been together for 20 years. I never suspected him of anything. We have wonderful children, and everything has always been so good, and... I understand you. I really do. Well, what do you think of me? That I'd intentionally accuse a man? I'm also suffering. I don't sleep at night. I'm always running all of this through my mind. Is it him, or is it not, and... And what? I just know it was him. Well, how can you be so sure? You didn't even see his face. I did not see his face, true. But I saw his height. I saw his stature. And then he limped. And your husband's limping. My what husband was I to does think? not limp. My husband just screwed up his foot. And what was the most important thing? Polly barked at them both. And Polly is a well-bred girl. And she doesn't bark at just anyone. So I know that it was one person. I waited till your mother left, and then I slipped in. If you don't want to see me, just say so, and I'll leave. Why are you all brooding? I wanted to apologize. And know how you're feeling. Thanks, I guess. 
I'm much better than I was yesterday. Anything else? Nah, man. Thank you, Roma. If you hadn't changed your testimony, I'd still be in jail. You know, I actually didn't want to change my testimony. You know, Nikita, you are a dangerous psychopath to society. But Stroka pressed me very hard about it. Stroka turned me into the police. She didn't turn you in. She fell in love with you, it seems. Now get out of here. Do it quickly. We can't mess this up. I throw it through that window. You into that one. And we're out of here. Fedor! Somebody's already smashed the glass! They've already done this before! Be quiet! Come on! Uh. All the better. Let's go! Let's get out of here! Mom said the entire case is built around the dog barking at Dad? And that's all the evidence? She's completely crazy. Well, yeah, she is crazy. And she won't back down at all. So we need to find a man of the same complexion as your father. Only a lame one. Nikita. Find the addresses of the victim's relatives. We have addresses for Lars' mom and Tarasov's husband. That's wonderful. I'll go visit them. It'd be nice to talk with Katya Isayeva. Maybe she'll remember something. Only she won't talk to me, though. And then I'll talk to her. And I'll go to the one person who has connections in criminal circles. Maybe someone knows something. You mean Zika? Natalia, people say things about him. Mom, they talk about my father, too. Hello? What? What's going on here? First the window in my house was broken, and now the bakery's burned down. What will be next? When are you going to start protecting our family, officer? Wait, what about this broken window, Anna? Tell me. I don't know anything about that. Did you file a complaint with the police? No, I've been kind of distracted. And then the policeman said that all of this is completely useless. How can I protect you? I have no reason to. And what is this? Is this not a reason to? We are trying to find out under what circumstances the bakery burned down. Then we'll carry out our technical expertise. Well, what kind of expertise? What is so damn unclear about this? Over here, Captain. One moment, excuse me. What do you have? Where did you find it? Was it was under a support beam. Register it right away, and check that there's nothing else. Hey there. What's up? <clears throat> Why don't you lock the door, Nasika? No one comes in without an invitation. That doesn't apply to me. I've been waiting for you. Is that all you brought? Well, okay, in Egypt, we'll buy everything that we'll ever need. Zika, I'm not going with you to Egypt. Well, why did you need me then? You really want to take revenge on that groom again, huh? I asked you never to bring him up. All right, then. Forgive me, forgive me. Talk to me. I really need your help. You hang around with different people. Can you find out anything about the real maniac? Any information, any clue we don't know about? Why in the world should I help you if we forgot everything? Hmm. <laughs> I get it. Natalia, you have no sense of humor, do you? Not about this, no. I'll ask. I'll ask around. And not even for you. 
but for Kirill's sake alone. Because your dad is an innocent man and should have nothing to do with prison. I appreciate that. You are the wife of a man who was accused of Allah's death, and you came to what, apologize? I came for your help. I hope that you'll give me a chance to explain. After all, an innocent person will go to prison for the murder of your daughter, and the real criminal is still free. So is that what you want? Will that really bring you peace? Can you then move on? How do I know if your, your husband's guilty or not? There's the investigation, then there's the trial. I really don't care. Do you want to know why I don't care? Do you see that boy over there? He's probably your grandson, right? Yeah. And he'll never see his mother again. Only in his dreams. He's all that matters. I can't talk about this anymore. Go away. I'm very sorry. Good afternoon. My name is Anna. I am the wife of... I know exactly whose wife you are. If I'm not mistaken, it's your husband who killed my wife. I just need you to let me explain. Get out of here. There's no hope for any help from the police. They caught my father, and they're happy. However, you can help. I'd be happy to, but how? Can you remember if Olya might have told you anything? Maybe she met some man, he lured her. Anything at all. Forgive me if this is hurting you. Thing is, the police already asked me about everything, and I just don't remember. <sighs> I'm sorry to hear that. And how's your family doing? It's awful. My father reads all day about the murder, about maniacs. Mom reads and goes somewhere at night. Everyone has a different way of coping. Well, if you can remember anything, then... Yeah, I'll call you. Anna, I don't understand why you're doing all this by yourself. Don't you trust me, even a little? Alexei, I do trust you. But... But you can't get Kirill out of prison. So I have to take matters into my own hands. I can't prevent you from looking for a murderer. But at least don't go to the relatives of the victims. You'll only turn people against you. Then you'll be nowhere. Yes, I understand that. But what about this disabled list? Ah, something that I could do for you. Hold this for a moment. So look, here's a list of the lame. It's alphabetical, only it's not clear what you're gonna do with it. You're gonna check every alibi? Thank you, dear. On what grounds? You see, maybe Boyko imagined it all in the dark that he was tall. And the fact was, he's not lame, he's just got a pebble in his shoe, yeah? And he's not from our city, he's a roving criminal. He arrived? And raped and killed and went home. Tell me something. Why are you trying to convince me we won't succeed in investigating this? He will succeed, though. But not the way you're going. I'll smash these clowns in court. With their so-called evidence. I know what I'm doing. You'll really smash them? In court, yeah. No, you won't. And I'm sorry. It's just hard to believe that we'll win. Natalia! Natalia, I called you several times, but you didn't answer. If you really wanted to find me, you would have found me. It's very simple. Natalia, give me a chance. This makes no sense. I took the statement from the registry office, and then I wrote a letter of resignation. I packed my things, and I was hoping, frankly, not to see you. I thought you were in London. I don't know now. Maybe there is no London. Mm. Why? There's London, and I'm leaving tomorrow. 
Natalia, why are you doing this? I couldn't go to the movies, but the rest? It's confusing. Listen, why don't we meet up in three months and discuss everything then, okay? We'll discuss that later. Everything is gonna be fine. We'll get married like we've wanted to. Hold this. And this here, it's also for you. Enjoy your life. Strolka, forgive me, I'm a fool. How could I ever think anything like that about you? <laughs> it's okay, forget it. Are you gonna go to the college, though? The dean asked about you. She was furious. I don't think so. At least not until everything is over. Stroka, how about you and I go somewhere this evening? Hey, Stroka, what are you doing with the maniac son? None of your business, you losers! <sighs> Neanderthals. Look, Nikita. I gotta go and study some. I don't know about this evening. You have my number. Call me. So, Mr. Belyev, do you recognize this knife? Of course I don't, sir. Are you sure, Carol? I don't use those kinds of knives. Does your partner Anton use any of them? Not him either. Then how do you explain the fact that this knife was found in what is now that burnt bakery of yours? What do you mean, burnt? Yes, Carol, it's been burned to the ground. I didn't mean to upset you about it. You haven't answered me about the knife. Objection. What is the question? So they found some kind of knife? That is not some kind of knife. Alexei Markovich. This is the same knife that Olya's blood was found on. This was confirmed by the examination. Here, please, read well, it, Well, then, let's get acquainted with it now. Let's see. Let's see. Where do you have his fingerprints here? You don't have fingerprints. Well, we think that this knife was planted. Do you really mean that, yep. sir? How fascinating your side of it. The knife was planted. And the witness accuses you. And at night, you just went out to get some air. Belia, do you happen to have any powerful enemies? Is it they that snaked you? Well, tell me. I'll tell you now. Carol, wait a second, please. I can't I really wait need to any talk longer. To... I'm ready to confess. The time's come. Valentin Sidorenko, her age 67 years old, lives at the address right oh here. Oh my god, this is the 41st lame man fitting the age and height. Alexei Markovich was right, guys. We need to narrow our search criteria. Mom. Anyway, when this all ends, we'll leave this place. But I don't want to leave this town. Yes, Alexei, hey, what is it? What? What? What happened now? Just now, your father admitted his guilt. And it's not his fault. Everything went perfectly with the bakery. I passed by this morning and the bakery's no more. Now, it can only be demolished. Yeah, not so bad, huh? Ah, you don't know yet. It turns out that we helped the investigation guys. They found a knife in the ashes. So my friend in the police says that it was the very knife used in the murder. Seriously? So Belyev can't maintain his innocence? It's really beginning to look like it. So now he can't escape, huh? So? Is that all? You satisfied? Wait a sec, wait a sec. What about the family of this maniac? They're still living in the city. They ignore our warnings, so we need to be tougher. Okay? Oh, huh? Fedor, Fedor, I respect you. But maybe you don't need the family. Of course I do. It's only fair. Forensic examination found that it was this knife here that the criminal used. 
under the weight of irrefutable evidence, the suspect confessed to all of his crimes without remorse. Is it acceptable to release his name now? His name is Kirill Belyaev. The whole city knows about this, the Belyaev's family being persecuted, threats made. How do you think the leaking of information occurred? This persecution's a bad thing. I warn everyone, and let me be clear, refrain from illegal actions. There is no reason to believe that Belyaev's wife and children knew about the crimes in any way. In fact, they are also victims. It's just an absolute horror. I looked out the window this morning and lost my good mood. Can you believe that? You know how to wipe it off? Acetone, I guess. Yes, acetone, right. Anna, read it. It's quite lovely. It seems to be written just for you. What are you talking about? I should probably react somehow, right? Well, of course, I can't advise you. But I would pay very close attention to what it's saying. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, don't get people in trouble, Anna. So you want us to leave town? Well, how fabulous. <sighs> Mom, I'm not going anywhere in this car. Nikita, stop making a scene, son. You've already missed a lot. Quickly, get in the car. They're after us. Get in the car, I said. She acts really tough, doesn't she? But I wouldn't show off if I were her. Look how she drove off. She may hit someone, let me tell you. What is this craziness? Yeah, yeah, we hear you. Mom. Though. Yeah. <laughs> Better fasten your seatbelt. Why, Mom? I promised your father that we'll stand. And we will stand. Case. Don't be silly, Belyev. You remember well, I'm sure, where you met Olya. Where was it? Here? Really think. Maybe here. Maybe, yeah. Were you going in the same direction, or did you meet each other? I told you she was walking ahead. I caught up with her. I hand her out her mouth and dragged her towards the water. So here? Looks like it. Record that. The accused indicated where the crime took place. Now follow me. What happened next? I threw her to the ground. Show me then. What else, Belyev? What else? What should I show you? How I raped her? I don't think that's really necessary. What happened next, though? I stabbed her with the knife. Give him the knife. Let him hold it. Go on, Belyev. Go on. It's not the real one. Are you kidding me? Or you want to confuse the investigation? Act like you did that night. I just don't remember. <sighs> you don't remember. You said you stabbed her in her heart. That's right, I did. In the heart. Enter it into the record. This investigative experiment's over. Why'd you call me, Zika? Oh, hi, Natalia. Have a seat. Want a beer? What's he doing here? Kick him out or I'm gone. We're not kicking anyone out. Let's sit down. Sit, sit. Tell her already. Well, okay, Natalia, don't be angry. I know I spoke badly about your father last time. I'm sorry. Forget about it. 
It breaks down like this. Last summer, some freak raped my friend's sister. It seems he even wanted to kill her, but Nellie somehow escaped. She wanted to fill out a report, but Kasia talked her out of it. As if they wouldn't catch him anyway. She'd just be hurting herself. So no report? Uh-uh. See, she wanted to get married and start a family. I was just thinking, maybe it's the same freak. And Nellie's the only survivor. We talked it over with Kostya. And he asked Nellie to come meet with you as soon as possible. If you ask, maybe she'll remember something. Mm. <clears throat> only Natalia. Be delicate with her. Talk woman to woman. Poor thing went through an unspeakable horror. For the time being, Natalia, that's the only lead we have. It means a lot. Why did you do this? You promised me not to incriminate yourself. I promised, yes, but there was no way out. You and Natalia harassed. Nikita was put away, the bakery was burned, and the knife was planted. They wouldn't stop, you know? They would go on and on. At least it seems they've calmed down. I don't care. You shouldn't have done this. They had nothing, not a damn thing on you. And now they have a whole confession. Everything will be fine. Just calm down. We have our plan in court. The lawyer promised. Come here. Okay, now tell me about the children. How's Nikita doing? Studying. And Natalia? Hero, come on. Stop dawdling. Are you absolutely sure that you will be acquitted? Or are you just trying to calm the circus around us? Because I can withstand anything. Carol, tell me honestly. I'll tell you one thing. I promise I'll get out of here. That evening, I stayed with a good friend. I would have taken a taxi, but I decided to go for a walk. I walked past the construction site on Carl Street. I don't know how he appeared behind me. He hit me on the head with something, and when I woke up, I was at this very construction site, and he's hanging all over me. Nellie, do you remember his face? Maybe what he looked like? Anything? It was very dark there, and I couldn't see anything. I remember that he was this really big, strong guy. <sighs> Look at this, please. Is it him? I don't know. Really, I couldn't see a thing. And what happened next, Nellie? He hit me again, and then he raped me. After that, he took out a knife. There were some people walking by, and I heard voices behind the fence, so I screamed. He got scared and ran away. Oh, and tell me, did he limp or not? I don't remember. I mean, I think you can understand how I felt. It's really very important is all. I really don't remember, sorry. A pity. Nellie, was there something red on you? No. Although the purse I had, that purse was red. I remember that. Do you remember what day it was? Was it Saturday? Why is that so important? Because on Saturdays, my father sleeps at home. No. It wasn't on a Saturday. It was Friday, the 25th of July. What kind of cacophony? And I said, and you guys know me. It's just, modern troubadours don't use mandolins, but automobile horns. I'm only repeating what Stravinsky has said. I got you. <laughs> hmm? Roma! <laughs> Be careful now. Sorry, sorry, did I hurt hey, you? Man. Have you been discharged? Yeah, they did. They didn't want to, but I insisted. It's so boring there. <laughs> <laughs> hello, Mr. Oh, hello. Hey, Mrs. Emma. Emma. Did you bring a permission form for the days that you've missed? I never received a permission form, ma'am. You know, I was with my family. And I also want to be with my family more often. But I can't because of people exactly like you. Such is life. If there's no permission form, we will discuss possible expulsion. Sure, no problem. Nikita! <sighs> if Nelly doesn't remember his face and was attacked on Friday, then... Unfortunately, it won't help your father. Yeah, on Friday, the 25th of July. The 25th of July? Mm-hmm. Why didn't you say that? Didn't I say that? Yeah, but what's the difference? Natalia, on July 25th, your father closed the bakery for two weeks. He waited for the equipment, and we went to Egypt for two weeks. That's it? How could I have forgotten? 
We need to inform the investigator immediately. Nellie won't go to the investigator. She's hid all this for a long time. Looks like we need to persuade her. Well, why are you all depressed? Yeah, he is no John Paul Jones, but he has a sense of rhythm. Desire, too. Guys, we can do it. I'm very capable. I don't doubt that, but we already have a bass guitarist. Your Sorry. baby boy bass guitarist has a father for a killer, and if there were doubts earlier, we're now more sure than ever. Today on the TV, they said the investigation's over. Oh? Only the courts determine who's guilty and who's not. And who's this? Nikita. You found a replacement for it's me, right? It's not something we want to do. But these are the laws of show business, you understand? Max, we haven't decided anything yet. Nikita, stay, please! Listen, wait a sec. They're friends of yours, and you understand that with you, they won't achieve anything. Don't drag them with you to the bottom. Don't decide for us what we should or should not do! It's cool. Max is right. I'll drown alone, thank you. Wow, wow, now that's the decision of a man. And take a flash drive to remember. You look at it at home. Bye-bye. Well, go on. You remember the knife with which you were attacked. It was almost a year ago. Well, who is to blame for the fact that you didn't file a report? Can you identify the individual? This one looks like it. Thanks so much. You are free to go. What? So that's all? Nellie, wait for me, please, dear. Near the car. Certainly. What does this mean? She correctly identified the knife, didn't mm -hmm. she? Look, look at these photos here. <sighs> the date is on them. At this time, Kirill was in Egypt. Here, look right here. Anna, listen to me. This knife was shown on television. What do you mean, shown? What for? I will agree, we shouldn't have done things that way, but my boss has an affinity for the dramatic. So you mean that her... Uh... No, no, it's likely that she was really attacked by some psychopath with a knife, but there is no reason to believe that the same criminal who attacked her acted on our victims. I understand. I understand everything. You just don't want proof of Kirill's innocence. I can see that now. You just want to put him in prison, that's all. It's you. It's you who planted that knife on him! Anna, I give you my word. I did not plant anything on anyone. Never have, never will. And I'm also very suspicious of the circumstances under which this knife was found. But this girl is not the kind of person slash witness who can help your husband. The fact is, we checked her and... And what? Here, look, Miss Portnova followed up with a psychiatrist at some point. So her testimony is unlikely to have any value in court. Thanks for dropping me off. Anna, you know I'm all right in the head. I just have insomnia. And it's nothing more than that. But after that incident, I went and visited a specialist involved with trauma. Don't worry, it's not that I think anything like that. Thank you for telling us everything, even though it was painful. I just really wanted to help you and your husband. I'm so sorry. Wait a second. I think I remembered a small detail. What small detail? This man, he smelled like a... a kind of railway. What do you mean? 
a kind of railway. Well, it's such a persistent, specific aroma, like you get on the train. The smell of the railway, don't you understand? Fedor, are you going to return the bottles? Katya and I are having a hard time. Fedor, let's go have breakfast, huh? I'm not very hungry. Well, stop beating yourself up. The murderer is going on trial soon. Trial? Will it bring back our old ya? So are we gonna have breakfast or not? Get out of here now! Go. We were talking. What are you thinking, talking to your daughter like that? She worries about you. What's the point of doing everything you're doing? Belyaev took our daughter. <gasps> I want him to feel what we feel. It's as simple as that, pain. You've gone crazy. I know what I'm doing. This has all come to an end. I've already explained to you everything about this woman, and you continue to believe her fantasies. And what about the smell of the railway? It's just nonsense. But we think that this isn't nonsense. The criminal could be a railway worker. Alexandre Markovich, are you sure as well? Let's just say that Miss Portnova was attacked by some railway worker. What's the connection to our case? It's very simple. If the smell is persistent, then it would have remained on Olya's things, and this proves that the criminal was one and the same, and it wasn't Belly. Yeah. This is nonsense, nonsense. I'll tell you straight away, just like this. You have already made so many mistakes in this case. The only demonstration of evidence on television was a huge mistake, and now you refuse testimony that can be very important. I will complain about this in court. That's your prerogative. I'm begging you, sir. Let's arrange an experiment with the dog. <sighs> Anna, tell me something, please. What should I give her to sniff? The railway spokes? No, I think that it was the smell of creosote. The what? This is the substance to process the sleepers. Here you are. Uncle Anton, would you like some tea? Look, come on, sit down. Don't get in the way. Here you go. Here's some milk and fruit. You're not cooking now, I guess. Here are some cutlets in a pot. Eat them while they're warm. No way, <laughs> thank up. you. Why so much? We're not going to eat them all. Yes, you will. You have no choice. Mmm, now that is delicious. Of course it is. I cooked it, dear. So I brought a lot because I'm leaving. It's time I go. Where to? To the country, to my house. Here you go. Your enemies seem to have calmed down a bit. And I need to take care of some farming. So I hope that's all. Uncle Anton, thanks so much for everything. And Natalia, tell your mother, if anything happens, call me. I'll be right back. From there to the city is an hour by train. Mm -hmm. Another thing, if you need to call at night, don't you hesitate. Do we agree? We agree, yes. Good then. This here is Olya's dress, the last victim of this criminal. Now we'll put it in the box right over there. Then we'll, we'll let the dog sniff the liquid from the bottle. If a similar composition is on the dress, she will be alerted. Does everyone understand the experiment? Yes, sir. It's clear to me. Maklinov, bring the dog over. Go ahead. Now sit. Sniff it. Sniff it. Search. Search. Sniff it. Search now. Search now. Search now. Search now. Oh, well done, girl. Well done. So what's up? Was the experiment successful? Avranov. What kind of a show are you putting on here? <sighs> Colonel, I must report. We found something new. Alexei, tell me, how did it go? Everything went fine. The dog didn't disappoint. So Kira will be released? As it turned out, it doesn't mean a damn thing to them. Avrianov seems to understand now, but then the colonel came, he started yelling, what is it, who is this Portnova, I don't even know. If there was no report filed, then there was no attack. But the experiment showed that the criminal really smelt of creosote, didn't it now? 
Anna, don't get discouraged. We'll keep on fighting. I understand everything. Before, I didn't know where to find the lame man. But now I know. I'll go and look for him on the railway. I called you, Nikita, so we could meet up. I have a question to ask you. A real personal one at that. A personal question for me? Yeah. Suppose you were the first to know your father's... a really bad person. Would you have told the police yourself? I wouldn't. Even if this could help to prevent further crimes from occurring? That's right, Kate. I still wouldn't do it. He'd still be my father. That's what I think, too. It just can't be done. I don't think you understand, Mikhail. No. My daughter writes a review. And? And the topic is personnel management in the example of a railway station. I'd like to ask a little more about everything, OK? And if you give us a glimpse of the staffing schedule, then that would be a wonderful thing to do for us. What about the document that you have? Yes, here you are. Belyaev. Are you the wife of that very Belyaev? Clearly. Hold on. I'm surprised at you. Your husband is accused of murder, but you're here about some review? I know Kirill very well, by the way. He's a great guy. A great tragedy. I lied to you, Mikhail. I'm sorry. Of course, it's not about the review. It's just that everyone dismisses me when they find out who I am. Come on, it's OK. Why do you need a staff schedule anyway? My husband's not really guilty of anything. I, of all people, know that. But he will not be released until the criminal is found, so I'm looking for him. And I have reason to believe that he works on the railway right along here. He's about the same complexion as Pirillus. Only he has a slight limp. I can't help you there, I guess. I'm sorry. Mm -mm. We don't have lame people. Fortunately or unfortunately, but we don't. There was one lame man, a track man. But he died like six months ago. Died of vodka poisoning. Are you absolutely sure? Well, of course. I know my staff well. I don't know. Maybe he works on a train that comes along and just... Are there trains that remain parked a long time at the station? Well, the passenger ones stay around 10 minutes. Maybe it was a freight train. Mikhail, I beg you. Can I look at the schedule of arrival and departure of trains for the last year? You're pushing me to the brink of committing an official crime, Anna. But no sweat, I'll help you. Follow me. Let's go, let's go. I oh, thank you so much. We didn't look for your replacement. Max brought him. That's just fine. How well did he play? He sound good? It was terrible. <laughs> we kicked him out immediately after you left. You're kidding me. No. You kicked out Max's protege? Well, not exactly, you see. Roma told him that he has headaches, and so for right now, there will be no rehearsals. And you and Roma? Did you watch the music video? No? The video? Man, we played great! No one told me about it. Well, why would they? But Max gave you that flash drive. You should watch it. Stoka, I wanted to say something. Okay, I need to go. Uh, Mom will start getting worried. It's late already. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. It doesn't work, damn it. There aren't even two coincidences on these dates, let alone four. Mom, well, maybe that maniac came on different trains, you know? And how long will it take to find him? It's impossible. Mom, Natalia, watch this music video we shot. With pleasure, dear. <laughs> Wait a minute. What kind of train was that? I haven't seen that kind of train. Mom, can you try not thinking about trains for five minutes? Just stop it right there.
Did you shoot this video on the evening your father was taken in? It was, but Dad was arrested at night. Nikita, rewind this back. There were some strange people. Blue jeans, checkered shirt, and look, he's limping. It's him. I feel like it's him. Oh, guys, I think we found him. What kind of mess did you guys make? <sighs> Mikhail, I'm sorry that we woke you up. It's important. Oh, come on. That's okay, guys. Did you find something in the staff schedules? Not yet, but that's not the point. Nikita, show him the video. One sec. Do you know this train here, Mikhail? Of course. It's a repair one. Why didn't I see it on the schedules? Because you couldn't see it on the schedule. Because it works outside the schedule. It performs repair work in the area. Well, it stops at different points. As necessary where the repairs are required. It stopped here recently. The train did, right? It stayed for a week. About three days ago it left. So what's the matter? Nikita, show this man the video already. Do you know this man here? I can't say that I know him, but I know that he's working on this train. That I do. A year and a half, probably. He's been here about four times. And he has a limb, right? I believe so. He does have a limb. Think it was really him? <sighs> Mikhail, my dear. Thank you for everything. And where did this train go? You know, right? Tell me you know where it went. To Kratovka. To Kratovka. chance. You did the right thing coming over here immediately. But I really don't like your plan, Anna, to be honest. It's too risky. Maybe we should call the police now. Not yet. We must do everything ourselves. Is the station far away? I'm through the forest, straight ahead. 20-minute walk. Do many people go through the forest? Well... In the daytime, yes, they do, but after the eight-hour train, no. Mom, let me look around first. Maybe there's no repair train anywhere around there. You'll go in the morning. Who's calling this late? I don't know. Hello? What? No. No, there's no way I can come now. Why do you even care where I am? Now, goodbye. Mom, what happened? Our apartment's on fire. When will all this be over? <clears throat> Anna, are you absolutely sure that you have found the right person? Yes. Well, that means that everything will be over soon. Ah, tired of this nomadic life. When we're in the city, it's bearable. But here, what can we do? I'll probably retire soon. 
My wife told me she's jealous. She says that I have a mistress every place we go. Oh, what mistresses you could have, too. Hey, our Igor is a fine figure of a man here, although lame, but uh, he definitely has some. But he doesn't tell us about it, huh? He keeps it secret like the nuclear codes. I just don't like to talk about this subject. Well, what should men talk about, if not their girlfriend? This is not how I work. Fedor, maybe it's enough. What else, man? Apartments burned down? That's gotta be enough. What else are you thinking? You're relentless. I found out some things. The Belyaevs moved to the country. They're frightened. Hiding out in the maniac's partner's house. Move on and forget them already. No way. It's not that far away. I mean, they haven't really left the area. We ought to make that place too hot for them, too. I said again, or what? Fedor, come on. The houses, they're too close to each other. You could end up burning the whole village. I see that you've become a little nervous, haven't you? Don't be afraid. We'll do everything nice and neatly. If a couple of houses nearby are set on fire, well, who's gonna think that it was us? They'll think of the wife of that maniac. They'll say that the land burns under her feet. Then she'll definitely get out of here. Do you understand? I don't like it. I think it's too risky. But why? Whatever, fine. Let's decide then. Yeah. Okay, then. This is the last time. All right, guys? Mm, it's a deal. Let's do this thing. I didn't go any closer, but uh, I could see better than on the video. It's him. His name is Igor. But he doesn't look like our father at all. He looks more like Uncle Anton, really. Maybe we're still wrong. That's him exactly. I can feel it. Yeah, this is the maniac. First, he really limps, and secondly, his voice is gloomy. So, we'll catch our fish with bait. How is that? I'll be the bait in red. No way, Mom, that's very dangerous. Well, will we wait until the train arrives again in the city? We've got to try something. No, I'm sick to death scared for you. I'd rather do it, let me go. Natalia, there's nothing to discuss. So come on, let's go. You'll help me make up some kind of hairdo. And then find something red for me to wear. Anna, now you have to plan everything accordingly. If I'm not sure we've thought of all of it, I won't let you go. Dad. What do you want? Dad, don't go anywhere. Something's coming, I know it. What do you mean by that? I just want you to stay home, that's all. Baby, what's suddenly gotten into you, huh? Well, let's go to the movies or, or just take a walk. Listen, honey, today I have a lot of things to do. Tomorrow, I promise you. Tomorrow we will definitely go, all right? Please, goodbye. Take care. Let's get going. Hey, what's going on? Huh? Who's up for beers in the village? I'm not going. Today's Igor's turn. I went yesterday. I have no desire at all. I'm good, guys. Oh, you really mean you're not going? Like I said, I don't want to. Look at that bimbo coming to the platform. <clears throat> oh, yeah. Here comes the princess. In a red jacket. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh. Oh, hello, boys. Hello there. Could you tell me, how can I get to Krotovka? Where were you coming from, beautiful? I arrived on the train. A friend promised to meet me, but he didn't. I called, but he doesn't <laughs> answer. And I don't even know how to get there. I have found myself in a bit of a fix, boys. Through the forest, along the path. It's not far. Oh, come on now. Maybe help me out, guys. This suitcase is so heavy. I'm afraid I'll need surgery. Stay. I'll go. It's my turn to go. Uh, no, sit. Hummel, what was it you said we needed in the village? Well, then she's all yours since you volunteered. I'm over it already. Give me your suitcase. Here you are. Thanks so much.
Oh, Edik and I have been together for so long, but he just invited me to the village for the first time. He did call, but didn't come. Maybe he fell asleep or he bumped his head. You really have such air and this rain. Oh, I have no idea. Yes, what maybe. do you think? Or maybe he just got drunk. Oh, no, he wouldn't get drunk. Edik, he's not a drinker. Is that right? He who doesn't smoke and doesn't drink will die healthy. <laughs> yeah. And it's not too heavy for you to carry my bag? I see. You have troubles with a leg. Are you hurt? What happened? It's okay. My leg's just fine. But you better watch your step or you'll stumble over some snag. And I'll have to drag you back. Uh, I hope you won't have to. Is it recording normally? Don't whisper. Only her microphone is hot, so they can't hear us. I'm whispering just in case. They should have left the forest already. Damn it. I knew it wouldn't work. I told you. <sighs> the houses are right behind the edge. But then you can go it alone. You're really gonna leave me? I wish you wouldn't. I don't really want to meet this friend of yours, lady. You'll be just fine. <laughs> Thank you very much. But I thought you wanted to go to that shop. Out of hell with them. Wait a minute, Igor! I don't think I told you my name. I would have remembered. I know it's you. Well, yeah. Igor's my name. Yeah. It's you. The maniac, the killer. <laughs> Where are you going? I can't wait any longer. You'll Let spoil go. everything. <laughs> Hello, Kate? I can't talk right now. I'll call you back. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. You have strange jokes. Now it's clear. I understand why your friend didn't show up here. You're out of your mind. No, you're out of your mind, Igor. On April 13th of last year, you raped and killed Al Lavar, your first victim, and certainly not your last. And certainly not your last. On July 25th, you also attacked Anneli Portnova. Fortunately, the girl escaped with her life. And then on September the 25th, last year as well, Yulia Tarasov. I don't have to tell you, September 11th this year, your latest victim, Olya. Look at that. What an impressive file you put together. You happen to have any evidence? Yeah. Those very days, your repair train happened to be in our city. And that's all? You planted the knife in the bakery for my husband. Only you couldn't completely erase your fingerprints. You got a little careless. So, you're the baker's wife. Oh, you are a fool, you are a fool, you. Who asked you to get involved in all this, huh? Where do you think you're going, fool? I'm bleeding. Be thankful that I shot you with a non-lethal pistol and not with a real gun. 
Although I was very tempted. Go ahead, answer the questions now. Go on, talk. I've already said everything. What else do you need? Why did you attack only women in the color red? The hell with you. You promised a doctor, Don't huh? be rude. Otherwise, I'm going to be forced to... Just answer the question. Why do you need to ask? All maniacs are the same. He loved some girl in red, I know it. Something went very wrong. At first he held back, but then he gave Shut up. Shut up, you punk little kid! Let the investigator handle this part. Or a psychiatrist. Fedora, maybe you should... Stop whining, man. Let's go. I want you to tell me about the bakery, how you planted the knife, or set up the arson. I didn't arrange any arson. <sighs> knife? I found out. The baker was suspected, so I broke the window and threw it. Now call a doctor! I think that's more than enough. Nikita, stop the camera now. Good evening, sir. I'm sorry that it's so late. Father! Dad, I'm begging you. You don't need to set fire to anything. Let's go home now. Have you... Have you been following me? I followed you all the way from home. I didn't know any other way to stop you all. Dad, Mother and I love you very much. Please go home, come back to us. Katya. Katya. For... Forgive me. Um, of course we'll go home. Let's go. Go home. We decided to put things in order. This acetone rubs everything off very well. Do you already know about the apartment? And if you need any money from the house fund, then I can... Thank you so much. We'll manage on our own. 